Hi everyone, so welcome again another session of shortcuts and jugaads. All right, in this session we will talk about shortcuts only, not so called jugaads. Okay, Th we will think about the logic. Okay, but obviously it will be a shortcut. So, brief introduction. Now moving on to the first question. Cat 19. You can give it a try. Come back again. All right, let's start. So, a gentleman decided to treat a few children in the following manner. He gave, gives half of his total stock of toffees and one extra to his first child, and the half of the remaining uh, stock along with one extra to the second, and continues giving away in this fashion. Now, his total stock. Exhaust after fifth ch children, correct? Fifth child. Now, how many toffees were there in the stock initially? Suppose if you start with X, okay. So suppose the stock is X, right? So in the first child you get half of that plus one extra. Leftover part is X by two minus one. So the second child you will get half. Give half of this x by 2 minus 1 and then one toffee extra and the remaining is left so you can see even after the second or third uh, child the complication is getting high right i mean uh, the values you need to solve for x the equation will get confusing and confusing correct and you will end up in getting wrong answer so this is not the approach of solving such question all right in cat many a times these kind of question appears this was 19 and one uh, as, as i remember there was in cat 08 also we will also uh, do this uh, that question also in, right so what is the idea see why i am telling you this that the concept repeats in cat all right so it's always good to solve previous year questions so had you have solved uh, CAT 2008 questions and then in 19 you have, uh, saw this question so obviously you will solve it using the shortcut which I am going to tell you right might be possible you have already done it but yeah it's always better to repeat correct so the idea of such question is to solve in the reverse manner think on the last child okay the last child if before that the lot is X I am giving him half of that plus one extra. Correct. So before that, it will be X. I'm I'm saying that after when you give the second last child, okay, leftover is X. Let's say, and then you gave half of that and plus one extra. So you are left with this only, na? X by two minus one. And when you give it to the last child, you are having nothing extra right your lot is exhausted you have last child ko diya to aapka lot pura exhaust ho gaya so this should be equal to zero leftover part that gives you what x equal to two that means a nothing again aapke pas two rupees the you have two uh, toffees sorry right and you gave half of that that is one plus one extra so you gave him in two so obviously you are exhausted with your uh, lot of toffees correct now think what we are doing is actually we are doing half and then minus one what is the reverse process of that plus one and double is this clear half minus one the reverse process is plus one and double so what i need to do is to the last child fifth child after giving him the toffees we are left with zero right so what I'll do is I'll add one and double of that. So zero plus one, double of that will be two. Satisfying, right? To the fourth child, I'll do two plus one and double. That is six. Now see, six half is three plus one extra. Four are gone. So remaining is two. Satisfying. 6 में से आपने half दी तो 3 चली गई उसके पास plus 1 extra दिया तो 4 चली गई आपके पास 2 बचा 
Similarly, for the sorry third child, I'll go. I'll do six plus one and double of that. So that will be fourteen. Always. If you are getting confused, always reverse check. Fourteen half is seven. Seven plus one is eight. Eight gone. Remaining is six. So everything is getting satisfied. As the second child will be fourteen plus one, and double of that will be thirty. And first child will be thirty plus one, and double of that will be sixty-two. That's your answer. So I just need to start with zero in the reverse manner. adding one and double of that again adding one and double of that your logic is clear you can do it in a short matter of time i just need to do 0 plus 1 double that is 2 plus 1 double that is 6 plus 1 double that is 14 plus 1 double that is 30 plus 1 and double that is 62 and i need to do this five times so Obviously, you can see answer is sixty-two. So oh, yeah, this might be getting uh, behind the picture, but I hope the logic is clear, right? After that, I'll do fourteen uh, plus one double. That is thirty plus one double. That is sixty-two. All right. Now I'll do the another question, which was in CAT zero eight. Same concept with a slight difference. A shopkeeper has X kg of rice. The first commerce customer buys half of the amount plus half a kg. So the only difference is half a kg. Earlier we are giving one toffee extra. Now I am giving half kg of rice extra. Correct. And uh, in going in the same manner, uh, how many customers are there? Okay. First customer, second customer. Then the third customer, only three customers are there. Okay, so now obviously uh, in the last part zero is there. So what I am doing is, if the lot is x, I am giving him x by two plus half. So I left with x by two minus half. Correct. So I need for leftover part, what I need to do is I need to do half and minus one. So reverse process will be what? Plus one half and double. Earlier I am doing plus one and double. Now I need to do plus half and double. So think on this. For the last customer, third customer, uh, it will be zero plus half and double of that will be one. Reverse process. See, half of one is half plus half extra. One gone. Left over zero. Second customer, double of that. Sorry, half plus करेंगे and then double of that. That will be three. And to the first customer, three plus half, and double of that will be seven. Correct. Had there been four or five or six, it goes in the similar manner. Seven plus half and double of that will be fifteen. Correct, and so on so forth. Suppose next year or maybe in another in fu near future, this same question ap appears, and the number of customers will. Increase to not, I mean, three, four, or five. Let's say there are fifteen uh, uh, such uh, customers are there. Now, obviously, it will be a long process. So I need to do uh, sequence and series logic, right? Just follow this approach. If you are making uh, this series one, three, seven, fifteen, right? So what is it? You need, I mean, for first fifteen customer, you need to make the series correct general term. So you can see that it is double plus one, double plus one, double plus one, right? One cut, double is two, plus one is three, double six, plus one is seven, double fourteen, plus one is fifteen. You can do this also, or you can see this is basically two to the power four minus one. This is two cube minus one. This is two square minus one, and this is two to the power one minus one. So you can generalize it also. So for fifteen customers, it will be answer is two to the power fifteen minus one. I hope it is clear. All right. Okay, moving to the third and last question. Okay, this is also cat nineteen. Mukesh purchased ten bicycles for rupee in two thousand seventeen, all at the same price. He sold six of them at a profit of twenty five percent, remaining four at a loss of twenty five percent. Overall profit is two thousand. Then purchase price of bicycle is what? 
the idea of giving this question that i can solve with this question in without writing anything mentally right think it is this like you have done weighted average correct six of them are sold at a profit of 25% in other way can i say that 25% profit is given a weight of six and 25% loss is given a weight of four राइट सो थोड़ा सा लिख लेते हैं समझने में आसानी रहेगा सो इफ आई राइट इट आई एम सेइंग 25 परसेंट वेट इज सिक्स 25 परसेंट लॉस वेट इज फोर सो दिस इफेक्टिव चेंज इज व्हाट 25 इंटू सिक्स वन फिफ्टी परसेंट प्रॉफिट दिस गिव्स यू 25 फाइव इंटू फोर हंड्रेड परसेंट लॉस इफेक्टिवली फिफ्टी परसेंट प्रॉफिट एंड आई यू कैन ऑब्जर्व दैट ऑल दीज थिंग्स कैन बी डन मेंटली ऑल्सो सो इन अ वे 15% profit is equivalent to 2000 so obviously the cost price must have been 4000 that's your answer if the logic is clear you must be clear that this question can be solved mentally using the weighted average concept all right thank you very much we have done three questions we'll see you again bye bye